guys welcome to our crafty channel in this video I'm going to show you how to make a medium sized scrunchie using 100% cotton fabric these ones are plain white that have had a design added using heat transfer vinyl I will be doing a separate video showing how we do this so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it okay so as you see here I've used two separate colors one is a sort of holographic mermaidy green color and the other is a glitter purple I think they both look really fab and catch really well in the light. Uh, the design is like a witchy theme, which is obviously our favourite based on our name, We Witchy Crafters. Um, so yeah, we'll go on and I'll show you what we do from the start. So I've already pre-cut and pre-designed this length of fabric. Um, as you can see, it's got a rose gold uh, witchy theme design, same design as the other ones. Um, and the length that you need for these is, is 22 inches long and about four and a half inches wide. Um, and to start with, what you want to do is you want to bring your short edge together. So you essentially fold it in half um, and then meet up your edge just like so. And then we'll take it to the machine. So at your machine, you just want to pop that underneath the presser foot. Uh, leaving yourself with around a quarter inch on the edge. Your sewing machine will have a little guide. You just want to bring it to the first line. You want to drop your needle into place, like so, and then you can start. Always do a couple of forward stitches and a couple of back stitches just to secure that in place, like so. And then you can carry on down that short edge, nice and easy to the end and again a couple of back stitches at the end and then you can finish off there and you can pull that out and there you have your short edge complete now what you want to do is you just want to open that up so that short edge sits in the middle and you want to smooth out that seam I push it to the left you can open it up if you wish but I just slide it over then you want to take that top section and you want to fold that into the middle. Nice and neat. And then same on the other side, you want to bring that to meet in the middle there. Just neaten that up that edge a little. And then on the bottom piece, you want to take that and then you want to fold it over in half to meet the other side, encasing that middle part in the middle like a little burial. And from there, we're going to pop that back into the machine and we will get stitching. Okay, so again, slide it under the presser foot. Again, giving yourself around a quarter inch seam allowance. You want to drop your needle into place, just hold your fabric, make sure everything's set up. You want to align your edge. And again, you want to do a couple of forward stitches and a few back stitches just to secure that in place. And then you're just going to run all the way down this straight edge. When you get down to so far, you want to have your needle in place and then take that inside loop and just start pulling through your fabric. It will come through from the other side. Just give a little tug and jimmy that through. And again, you just want to line up your edge and carry on with your stitch. Again, go a little bit further, drop your needle into place, hold your fabric in position and then pull through the fabric as you go. Again, just got to give it a little tease here and there. It'll eventually sort of give, hence why you have to keep the needle in place so it keeps that fabric in position. There you go, and just want to Make sure that stays in the middle, away from the sewing edge. And you just carry on down your straight edge. And then just repeat that process. Pulling your fabric through. When you get to that little seam in the middle there, you'll see why I said to sweep it to the left, because it remains flat then. Uh, and it will just travel underneath the foot without bunching up. I'll just smooth that out there, like so. Meet up the edge, 
and carry on with your stitch. Okay, now as you get a little bit further down, you'll begin to notice that you'll be getting closer to the edge, uh, the first stitch, sorry, that you made. And then I'll show you there what we've got to do. through and you'll see here that's where we started the first original stitch which is here and you want to keep about a fingers width so about an inch from that stitch and carry on your stitch down to that point be sure to finish off with a couple of back stitches just to hold that all in place and then you can take it out from there Okay, so now we've got the stitching done. You just want to cut off the threads, neaten that up a little bit. The threads just get in the way. Okay. Just neaten up that edge. The thing with cotton, it does fray quite a bit. So I do like to get rid of as much of that fraying as possible. Just keeps it nice and neat. My OCD at bay. Okay, so the little hole that you left there, that little inch, inch size hole, you'll be able to just get your finger into there. And you'll be able to feel that inside, that middle fabric on the inside that you kept tucking away. You can then pull that out and just give it a little pull. You may need to sort of hold on to the top seam or the underneath and just give it a little pull through like you're pulling a sock from the inside out and then just keep pulling take it nice and easy don't don't then don't try and pull it apart as you could burst the stitches that you made and once you've got all the fabric through you just want to go around it with the seam and just roll it in between your fingers just to straighten that out smooth out the fabric and keep an eye out for any sort of loose threads that maybe have creep through you can cut them out take them off and this just helps with your keeping it all in line and having a look to see how you're done with your stitching then okay so now you want to get yourself a bit of flat elastic this is nine inches so i cut about a nine inch length and using a bodkin, you can use a, a safety pin if you haven't got one of these, but you just want to attach the one end to the bodkin or into your safety pin. And then you want to pop that into the hole at the top, or the hole that's been left, and you want to start threading in through your elastic. Hold on to the end, um, otherwise you'll end up just losing it all the way through and you'll have to start it again. <laughs> So yeah, make sure you've got a hold of that. And you just want to feed your bodkin all the way through this little tube that you've made. All the way around. And as you can see, it's slowly starting to take shape. And then once you get to the other side, you'll bring it back out through the hole. And now you can meet up the ends of the elastic. Okay, so just give it a little stretch out. Make sure that the the elastic is not twisted. Try and keep it as flat as possible. And then you just want to match up the edge in. Give it a little stretch. All good. And then you can go and tie off the end. So this is a 6mm elastic that I've used, so we can tie this in a, a balloon knot. Um, if you're using a thicker, a thicker elastic, a 12mm and upwards, you can um, run it through a stitch so it's a bit more secure because it's a bit thicker. 
um, whereas this is a bit more fiddly to get through the sewing machine. So you want to tie it as close to the edge as possible without losing the edges. So I like to tie it in place and then just tighten off the edges a little bit and then pull the knot towards the edge of the elastic so you're not losing too much of the elastic. That's why we cut about nine inches. Use about an inch or so on the knot itself. So just make sure that's nice and tight. Like so, and then it should just disappear into the body of the scrunchie. Just like that. Now, so you've now got this little opening, which we're just going to stitch up. So when you sort of stretch it out like so, you see it should already fold into sort of its little position, so it's easy enough to stitch through. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pop this back under the sewing machine. I'm going to change the stitch width to one mil, so then it's a tighter stitch and then we don't have to do any back stitching on that. So I'm just going to feed that into the machine there. This can be a little bit tricky, and a little bit tricky to see, but after you've done a couple of them it gets a bit easier. But you just want to pop it under the foot as close to the edge as possible. You can lower the needle slightly just to make sure that you are in position. I like to use a little pair of scissors here just to catch that, uh, that the end of the opening so then I know where I'm going to be finishing. And I'm going to drop the needle into place. And we're just going to run a little stitch just down the length of that little opening as close to the edge as possible like so. I'll just take that out there. There we go. Then we're just going to remove these little threads, get rid of them, neaten up any, any loose threads that are there. As you can see we have closed up that little hole, nice and secure and not very noticeable at all. So from there, what you want to do is you just want to go around the scrunchie and fluff it out, essentially. Obviously, if you were to use a longer piece of fabric, you'd do a little bit more fluffing out, um, but then the design would look very, very different. So I think this works well for these ones. And there you have it. There's your scrunchie. I hope you found this tutorial easy enough to follow. And I hope you have fun trying to make your own. As I said, if you did enjoy this video, we'd love it if you would give us a follow and hit that subscribe button. And then you won't miss any future videos that we post. As I said, I'm going to do a few more on the HTV designs that we've done. And we look forward to seeing you again. Bye for now.